you ever wondered how one woman could control a nation as vast and ancient as China for almost half a century? Today we delve into the life of Empress Dowager Titi, a woman who wielded the reins of the Chinese government for nearly 50 years. Born Yehe Nara Xingzhen, she was a noblewoman from the Manchu Yehe Nara clan, a small but significant piece in the grand puzzle of China's history. Yet her life didn't begin with the promise of power. She was born into obscurity, her future seemingly as humble as her past. But fate had other plans. Her journey from a simple clan woman to the Empress Dowager of China is as riveting as it is complex. Her influence on the Qing dynasty was profound, her decisions shaping the course of Chinese history. A life that began in obscurity would soon see her ascend to the pinnacle of power, steering the destiny of a nation. Oh, from a concubine to the Empress Dowager, Qixi's journey to power was anything but ordinary. Yehe Nara Xingzhen, known to the world as Empress Dowager Qixi, began her ascent in the imperial court as a mere concubine to the Xianfeng Emperor. However, fortune favours the bold, and Cixi was no shrinking violet. Upon the Emperor's death, she manoeuvred herself into a position of power, skillfully navigating the treacherous waters of the Qing court. She leveraged her son's appointment as the new Emperor, thus solidifying her role as the Empress Dowager. Her strategic prowess was showcased in the Xinyu coup, a politically charged event that saw CITI wrest control from a group of regents who intended to sideline her. The coup was a stunning display of her political acumen and ruthless ambition, catapulting her to the pinnacle of power. Her ascension was marked by cunning and determination, setting the stage for her rule. Once in power, Qi Xi's reign was characterized by a series of reforms and policies that would shape China's future. The most notable of these was the Tongzhi Restoration, a period of moderate reform that served as a lifeline for the Qing dynasty, extending its existence into the early 20th century. This restoration was not a radical overhaul, but a series of adjustments designed to modernize the state while preserving its fundamental structure and traditions. One key aspect of the Tongzhi Restoration was the self-strengthening movement. This was an initiative to embrace Western technology while maintaining a firm grip on Chinese heritage. It was a delicate balancing act, a dance between the old and the new, the East and the West. Sini supported the adoption of Western military technology and training methods, recognizing their potential to fortify China's defense capabilities. Yet, she was not an outright champion of Westernization. In fact, she was cautious, even resistant, to the adoption of Western models of government, keen to uphold the traditional Chinese way of life. This period also saw other reforms in areas such as education, legal system and civil service examinations. These reforms, though often seen as conservative, were a measured response to the challenges of the time. They were an attempt to graft Western advancements onto the trunk of Chinese tradition in the hope that the resulting hybrid would be strong enough to withstand the winds of change. It was a time of transformation, of flux. A time when China, under Chixi's guidance, was trying to find its place in a rapidly evolving world. It was a period of both inward reflection and outward adaptation. A time when the Middle Kingdom was striving to strengthen itself while staying true to its roots. Chixi's reign was indeed a paradox. One where modernization coexisted with deep-rooted conservatism. It was an era of reform and resistance, of change and continuity. A time when the past and the future were engaged in a delicate dance under the watchful eye of the Empress Dowager Qi. The legacy of Empress Dowager Qi is as complex as the woman herself. Historians often find themselves at odds when it comes to dissecting her reign. On one side of the coin, some historians paint her as a despot, a ruler whose reactionary policies, despite their success in prolonging the life of the Qing dynasty, ultimately led to its downfall in the Wuchang uprising. On the flip side, there are those who view Tsi Yagchi as a reformer. She spearheaded the Tongzi Restoration, a series of moderate changes that breathed life into the dynasty, allowing it to endure until the early 20th century. Though she was hesitant to fully embrace Western models of governance, she was a proponent of technological advancements and military reforms, championing the self-strengthening movement. 
Siaixai remains a figure of fascination and controversy, a woman who left an indelible mark on Chinese history. Whether seen as a despot or a reformer, her influence is undeniable.